Today I'm going to show you this. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette. Swatches, review, conclusion, and most importantly, is this worth your money? Spend my money to save your money. If you happen to like this video, consider to subscribe. Thank you. Hello dears, welcome to Beauty of a Heart. I'm Lilin, also known as Lulu. Today, as I mentioned, I'm going to share with you this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette Born to Run. I'll be doing the review first, followed by the three eye makeup looks, followed by the swatches, that's the eye and the hand swatches, and conclusion. So, let's get started! Review time! I bought this from Sephora and this cost $76 which is around $49 USD. Packaging wise, this is the outer sleeve box and this is the palette itself. It has so many places of interest photo and this palette is designed in such a way that when you travel, you just take this palette to create different kind of looks. There is a huge mirror over here. And this is the 21 colors. The colors combination are very, very beautiful and I'm so attracted by it. But I must say, the mirror side here is very heavy. So, most of the time when I was filming the eye makeup look, when I was holding this palette on one hand and then the brush on the other hand to do the eye makeup look, I need to rest it on the table for a while first before picking it up again because this is really heavy. I don't know why. It's so heavy, especially on the mirror side here. I guess deals with wrist issue or you need to do surgery on the wrist. You might not want to keep holding this and you might just want to use a mirror, a substitute mirror to do your makeup. Urban Decay is a cruelty free brand. So deals who are into cruelty free, yeah, you can use this palette as well. But I'm not so sure whether this is vegan which I don't think so, it's not stated on the box here also. In this palette, there are matte and shimmery formula. However, this is where I'm quite disappointed because the formula is quite inconsistent. Generally, the shimmery colors over here, the greens, the blues, the bronzy colors over here perform astonishingly amazing. Is that such a word? <laughs> It's very very pigmented and very intense. So just one swipe, it can play out your eyes very well. Very beautiful. To bring out the best result in the shimmery shade, you can use a damp finger to pick up the colors and apply straight onto the eyes. It will be very metallic and very void. Okay, however, for shimmery color like this, good treat. And this, while hot, you need time to build it up. It's very sure and this is the color I'm using over here and I've built up many 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 layers and while hard I'm using over here at the lower lashes for matte formula it's very tricky because for color like this hell right which actually I'm very interested in this color it really disappoints me very much and this color and also punk mm, they are very sure and can be quite patchy you just may be able to see that when I was doing the eye swatches. And for this color still short, it is very chill. It is a matte formula but it's very chill. So you also need to build this up. And for this color Baha, it's very intense. So one day I was using this Baha at the outer corner of my eyes and went for a family gathering. Well, um, actually it's my husband's birthday. So my brother-in-law thought that I was bitten by mosquitoes or what because it seems swollen. <laughs> So dears, maybe you like to consider to use this Baha at the outer corner, yeah? You see dears, I'm more to a drugstore girl as you dears may know already. So for me to get this palette, it actually take me a lot to leap forward to buy it. And this is my very first Urban Decay palette. And I watched so many good reviews about it, especially those who get PR set. And I was really attracted by the color scheme. The color story is so beautiful. And naturally, my expectation to this is very, very high. But I must say, because of the inconsistency in the formula, both shimmery and matte, 
I was quite disappointed actually. At the same time, my colleague was mentioning that it creases on my eyelid after a day. Also at the same time, it blended out very well on the eyelid. So now I'm in a dilemma. And today my eye look over here. I'm using this Breakaway Blaze Big Sky Get Three Radio Drift and Wild Heart. And if you just can see, this is what I meant that it blended out very smoothly to each other. So that's why I'm in a dilemma. I hate to love, love to hate this palette. So yes, let's now hop over to the eye makeup look. I'll be creating three eye makeup looks as well as to share with you my seven days makeup look because I'm using this palette for more than two weeks. It's a very versatile palette. That's why I like to share more eye makeup looks with you so that I can create a lot, a lot, a lot of my eye makeup looks. And near to the end of the video, I will share with you whether this is worth buying. This is my first eye makeup look using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is the office wear eye makeup look. And the focus of this look is to save time and to be natural. Because in the office, you want your superior to take note of your book performance and not just the looks. But you still need to look healthy and energetic. So you need some colors on the face. So dears, I'm using two colors for this look. Very simple. just one color on the crease and the color on the eyelid that's all because most of us have very long working hours and very little rest time especially for mothers who basically need not rest they have to keep waking up to feed their babies and also wake up earlier to send their babies to the nurseries or to their parents to take care of so yes, we would like to use more time to sleep and rest instead of putting makeup. So there it is, very simple, very fast. This is the second look. You can use this look for girls gathering, any event or dinner function. So basically, I am very very happy with the greens and the blues. So I'm going to use these colors on the eyes. So there it is. This is the third eye makeup look, and this is super drama eye makeup look. So you can use this for party or as and when you like it actually. <laughs> so basically, I just want to use the black and the purple, kind of like a halo eyes with the purple in the middle of the eyes.
So there it is. Break away. In this palette, I will consider this color as the highlighting color. So usually I will just use it on the eyebrow bone and the inner corner. It's not very glowy. Apply smoothly and easily on the eyes. Okay, this color stranded is a very beautiful color. Easily apply onto the lid. This is the color blaze, easily applied onto the lid. Quick Ender. This is my go to crease color for everyday look. The color is very near to my skin tone, so can't really see this color. Still short. This is the matte color which is not very intense. You need to build up a few layers. But I like this color. Green is a matte formula and I will also use this as a crease color. Good as gone. It's really good as gone. It's very patchy and it can't move very well. And it's very uneven. How right. This is a very sheer color which is very disappointing. You need to build up many 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 layers and sometimes it doesn't even get onto the skin and cannot move around. Is uneven and very sure. Aha! Matte formula and apply very opaque on the eyes. Accelerate! Very good! Get trip. Disappointed with this color because I have high expectation in purple. So this color you will need to build it up with your fingers. Ink. 
it night. Very, very good. Very, very good. Wonderlust. I super love this color. It's very, very pigmented and very shimmery. Very good formula. Wahat fall out during application and this is a color that requires us to build up many layers. Punk matte formula, patchy, uneven, dry. No good. Double light. Very good. Easy to blend and intense. Jet. Need to build this color up. The first layer was very patchy and the second layer becomes intense. Drift. Good. Radio. Very good. Sky, very beautiful color and very good formula. Now comes the conclusion part. This Urban Decay Bond Seram palette has wide variety of color. It's a very versatile color and the color combination is very pretty. This is a very versatile palette. You can create a lot of looks with it. You can create natural looks to your office, very bold and dramatic looks, smoky eyes look for the party. But however, because I find that the formula is inconsistent and some colors are more pigmented than the others, I find that this is not worth for the 9 USD or 76 Sing dollar. So yes, I wouldn't recommend you to buy this palette if you haven't bought it. Instead, if you are looking for high-end eyeshadow palette, may I recommend you this? This is the Fenty Beauty Morocco Spice. I don't think they have similar color theme. It's just that the formula is more consistent. The powders are very fine, be it whether this is matte or shimmery. You can just top up another $6, which is it is $16 to get this. It's a better performing palette. Other than that, you can get this Perception Palette from Colourpop. It's a collaboration project with Colourpop and Makeup by Sheila. It has similar colour vibe and formula is much better. And this is only 23 USD. Much, much cheaper than the Born to Run. These two palettes are not the same. Yes, as you can already see, this Urban Decay Born to Run palette has 21 colours and this Colourpop Possession palette only has 16 colours. Although both come with mirror and it has similar colour vibe but it's not the same. However, if you want to save more money, I think this formula is so much better. It's cheaper and more consistent. But let me show you what are the similar colours in these two palettes. Okay, here we have Breakaway. Let me just swatch here for you to see. And this is bordered. It's slightly lighter, but you see on the eyes, it's about the same. And over here, we have Ignite. 
and this possession palette we have Diva. See, these two colors are almost identical. And we have Reef over here and Cultured over here at this perception panel. Similar, just that the Urban Decay Born to Run palette is a bit darker. And we have Wa Heart over here from Born to Run. And September over at this perception palette. See? Very similar, isn't it? And Baha from this Born to Run palette. And Pick from the perception palette. Pick is more orangey. And Punk from this Born to Run palette. and play out from this perception palette. Can you see? It's very similar. Okay, this color is not the same. It's just that it has very similar tone, which is this Wanderlust from the Bonteran palette. And IE from the perception palette. Not the same. IE is more yellowy green, more goldish. Wanderlust is darker. So yes, yes, these two palettes are not the same, but then they have similar colors. So I would prefer to get this perception instead of the Bontura palette. Save the money. Alright, dears, that's all for my sharing today. Hope this video will help you out to decide whether you want to spend seventy-six Sing dollar or forty-nine USD on this palette. And last. But not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more white. From the Open Decay Bond to Run palette. You are not lost. You are born to run. Actually, flying will be better. <laughs> you are born to fly. <laughs> okay, hope you like this video. If you like, please help me to subscribe. Thank you so much. And yes, don't forget, I still have a big giveaway going on. So I will link this video somewhere up here. So yes, yes, please participate in the giveaway and also watch that video. I'm doing my best to reach up to 2,000 subscribers and I have about still 800 more to go. <laughs> okay, that's all for the sharing. May you, dears, have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! Thank you.